Hey, welcome back to Exploring the World of Coffee. Today we're taking a look at my home setup. This is the place where I geek out a lot over coffee and it's also the set for a lot of my Instagram photos. We used an old IKEA desktop to make it and an old pine dresser that we renovated. So we sanded everything back and painted it up a little bit. Um, it adds a really nice natural theme and we wanted a dark and moody feel for this setup and I think we've achieved that quite nicely. Me and my husband made the wall hangings behind us, so we used old coffee sacks and old picture frames and took the glass out and put them up and I think they work really nicely. I don't like clutter, but obviously making coffee you have a lot of little bits and bobs, so we wanted to use the drawer units to store all of those bits in out of the way but so that they're still accessible. Not having cluttery bits around makes it a really nice, calm and relaxing place to work, but also nice for Instagram photos and videos like this. So what is actually hiding in the drawers? So we've got everything from beans, filter papers, milk pitchers, travel flasks, cups, a whole tea selection, please don't judge me, and various props for photographs and stuff like that. So, brewing equipment I have behind me, first of all I've got a Sage Duo Temp espresso machine. Uh, it produces some great results with a little bit of practice. You can dial in the espresso, get that really nice, and it does do really nice milk for latte art as well. I did upgrade the Tampera because it, the one that comes with it isn't that great, it's a little bit cheap in my opinion, so I've just got one off Amazon that is nice and has a nice wooden handle and it has a lot more weight to it. Next, um, probably my most used brewing tool is my Aeropress, it's brilliant for that first coffee in the morning when you're still a bit groggy and tired, but it's also great for travel so you can fit it in your backpack, things like that. I've actually decorated mine with some stickers from my travels, which makes it a little bit more personal. I also have a Hario V60 um, and a guy off Instagram called Callum actually made this lovely uh, dripper stand, which is really, really nice. I'll link his Instagram in the description below and it will be up on the screen now for you. I love Rhinoware's products actually. I think they're really good, affordable and good quality. Uh, products. So I've got sh uh, shot glass, I've got cloths, and obviously my grinder is Rhinoware's and my scales. Uh, I think that they are just really, really good products to get you started if you don't have a lot of money. They're good when you're on a budget. So maybe you want to set up your own home coffee studio or improve the one that you already have. Uh, I'm going to offer you some tips that I've learnt while setting up mine. So tip number one is try and find something around your house that you could use to upcycle or reuse. So you could paint like a piece of furniture like I have to suit your aesthetic. Maybe you have some old jars that look really nice that you didn't know what to use hidden in the back of your cupboard somewhere. Little things like that that you can find just to save yourself some money but look really good. Uh, that's my number one tip for you guys. I mean, I absolutely hated that pine dresser that's behind me now, but it's one of my favourite furniture pieces out of everything. Tip number two, keep it minimal. Uh, keep decorations simple, so in my situation I just used like a lamp and a house plant. Uh, try to keep cluttery bits stored away, but so they're still accessible and so that you can use. Tip number three. Do your research on anything that you're going to spend quite a bit of money on, uh, especially like brewing equipment, coffee grinders, things like that. You can never spend too long looking into a product. When I was buying my Sage, I spent weeks trying to just figure out which one I wanted. Um, so you can never be too fussy when it comes to things that you're going to spend a big chunk of money on. Tip number four, gather inspiration. So I love Pinterest, so I created boards on what I wanted my aesthetic to be, little things that I liked, so that meant that when I went out like shopping or I was looking around the house for things, I knew exactly what I had in mind and what goal I wanted to achieve for it. Sorry, what's that? 
Sorry, I can't hear you. Ah, oh, you want to set up your own home coffee station or improve...